What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're taking a look at Google Drive and how you can use it to back up some of your data to the cloud. Now a lot of people have asked me to make a video on Google Drive so I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to use it and how you can sync your files and how you can also back up files to uh, Google Drive. Now you get a free 15 gigabytes if you've got a Google account um, and basically once you've got that set up you will be able to get a Google Drive account which will give you 15 gigabytes of storage. So let's take a look here. What you need to do is if you go to google.com and then forward slash drive, it will give you these options here. And you want to go to drive, click on this one. And this will take you to your Google Drive. It will say my drive here. So once you're inside here, you can then create folders or whatever it is you want to do to add in your documents now of course you can also use Google Docs spreadsheets and all that sort of stuff from uh, Google themselves or you can use Microsoft uh, Office files on here as well and upload them to here which means you can get easy access to them so taking a look here on the left hand side we've got my drive uh, shared with me also recent and uh, starred and trashed and basically these are areas which you can use for navigating around your drive so storage will be this one here it tells you how much storage you've got and how much you've used and you can see here we've got 15 gigabytes uh, free now if you want to buy more storage you can do and you can go to here and it will tell you exactly how much storage costs now for backing up data it's a pretty good option if you want to keep something in the cloud the good thing about this is is you can access it just about from any device anywhere so you can see 15 gigabytes is free which is very generous uh, amount of storage really because most people that want photos and stuff like that it's uh, really just probably enough just to do just all your photos and bits and pieces like that so now recommended is 100 gigabytes and that's one pound 59 a month or you pay annually which is 15 pounds and 99 pence a year which is super cheap what you're going to get there is 100 gigabytes of storage access to google experts and also options to add your family extra member benefits and stuff like that now of course if you've got more than 100 gigabytes then you can obviously jump this up to something else like 24.99 a year which is for 200 gigabytes and again two terabytes is 80 pounds a year which is still very cheap if you've got loads and loads of data okay so we're gonna leave the more options here because this goes on to ridiculous amounts of storage which is probably business level and you can see here right up to 30 terabytes okay so let's go back to our my drive and take a look at how we can use it so first off what you're gonna do is you've got this big new button up here you can click on new and you can create folders you can upload files and you can upload folders from your computer this is your Google Docs area and your uh, sheets and also your slides and you've got the more option here which gives you more areas here so we're not going to go too deeply into these areas we're looking at just basically backing up and storing data to the Google Drive so first off let's create a folder inside here you can call it whatever you like let's just say photos then click create and that will put a folder called photos in here inside your photos area here you can now drag files into this uh, area if you want to or you can upload them by using the new area like new file upload or folder upload or you can right click on here and you can upload from here this is how I prefer to do it myself now what happens if you want to do subdirectories inside here you can do that also you can right click here create another new folder and you can call this holiday and of course you can create another new folder in here and you can call this whatever you like say for instance party and of course you can be more descriptive if you wish and uh, you can set these up now you can see up the top it will give you 
a crumb trail of where you are inside here. So for instance, inside your party, you can go inside here and you can create another directory inside here. If you really want to get sort of, uh, you know, tidy and keep everything nice and tidy, which I'd advise you to do because things can get really out of hand very quickly. So in here, you can call this, uh, for instance, let's just say 50th and we're going to call this a birthday. And you could put in now inside here, you can see if we go back to our drive, you'll see our original photos here and inside here we'll have holiday and party. Party might be your 50th birthday, uh, New Year's party, whatever it is that you've got inside here, okay? And when you click on these, you'll see there is a path going all the way to the beginning where you are. So you can't get confused. So now we've got all of our directories all sorted out. You can add more in the front area here if you wanted to. You could call this, uh, say, work. And of course, we can call another one, say, YouTube. And this might be all my YouTube stuff and so on and so on. So let's get some photos uploaded here. So here, if you wanted to upload some stuff inside here, you can do. I'm going to go into YouTube and I'm just going to quick, quickly create another one inside here called uh, thumbnails and we'll click create that there and inside here I'm now going to navigate to my upload area and upload folders or files. So if you want to upload files you can go to your pictures area here and you can either select your pictures area or you can select all of the files that you want to upload for instance if you want to do these you'll see these start to get uploaded now as you can see here 119 items and up they go that's a great way of backing up photos and stuff like that from your phone or from your computer and of course it frees up space on your computer because once they're uploaded here you can then remove them from your computer if you want to and it gives you plenty of ways to get access to these as well so they're nice and safe you'll see a little green tick here telling you that that's been uploaded and it tells you how long is left so you can leave this running in the background as well so you just let that go up like so now of course once these are uploaded they will be happily living inside there so let me go ahead and show you the trash part here because I think this is quite useful so for instance if I wanted to trash this file here and remove this when I remove it you see when I right click on here we'll go into these bits up here in a minute so I'm going to remove this and you'll see it will go into the trash folder now it won't remove it from the trash until you empty it so you would have to click on it and then empty it this is a good safety net because this means that if you accidentally delete something it will be left inside here and you can then remove it finally yourself by clicking on delete forever now inside here you can delete them uh, from here so inside your trash area it'll say empty trash or you can that will empty all of them if you just want to empty one you can just empty one like so and it will leave the other one in there now these are a good safety net because it means you can restore these if you've made a mistake by just going back here and clicking on uh, restore from trash and it will put it back okay so let's move on to our thumbnails here and what you can do here is it, you can right click on these and you can preview them and it will let you preview them inside here as you can see you can go back and what you can do also is open with and you can open it with Google Docs cloud convert PDF converter and so on you can share it if you want to share it with someone you can click share and it will load and once you do this you can share it with other people and other groups okay so if we right click on our file now we can get a shareable link here if we want to by clicking on get a shareable link 
and you can say got it and you can see here get link so this is a link get link here and we can click on copy this link now you'll see down the bottom here it will say restricted and that's because only people added can open uh, this link that's how you can set this up so you can restrict it to certain people again if you want anyone to view it with this link you can put anyone with this link now if it's something that's personal and you did something stupid at a party or something like that and you just want to restrict how many people can see that or what type of people can see it you can have it unrestricted if you don't really care you can set it to anyone with this link and once you've got that done we can go back in here I'm going to right click in here you can add a shortcut to drive you can also move to this is another option where you can move it to and you can choose a folder to move that file to another folder if you want to do that again we have got add to start and we've got rename view details manage versions and make a copy of this and also report abuse and download this means you can download it as well to your PC so if you want to download it you click download and it will start to download to your computer and again if you want to remove it you can click on remove so very very simple uh, setup but very useful now you can change this grid layout to view it like this or you can change it to this layout it's entirely up to you how you go about doing it again view details it gives you the details here on the side and that's pretty much that part of it so if you want to now uh, sync with your computer you can do that let me show you how you can go about doing that so what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to google.com and forward slash drive here you'll see this is the page we was at we went to go to drive go all the way down the bottom here and you'll see downloads download for Mac and PC and download for Android and download for iOS so hit the Mac and PC version and here we can access and sync your content from any device that means you can access it from your tablet from your laptop from your desktop PC and from your mobile phone now if you want to do this you can uh, back up and sync and download this for individuals and this is for teams so depending on what you want to use it for you can set this up so basically hit the download read their terms and service there and a click agree and download and this will then start to install on your PC so we're going to let this download and install and we can now have a look at this so you can now see we've got this area here let me just remove this back area here so here we have all of the files at your fingertips so when you get started here it will ask you to sign in this will allow you to sign in to your Google account you would put your email address and all that sort of good stuff in here it will ask you to sync from here so let me go ahead and uh, log in here so once you signed in you'll basically get an area that says my computer you can now choose what areas you want to sync and back up uh, to your Google Drive there so you can choose a folder if you don't want any of these ones you can choose your own folder and basically that's how you can sync uh, to your Google Drive you can see here also photo and video upload size high quality free unlimited storage and original quality 14.8 gigabytes storage left full resolution that counts against your quota so you've got that area here upload photos and videos to Google Photos as well you've got this area here as well and you've got your network settings but once you go next you can then choose what you want to uh, sync you will then get sync my drive to this computer and it will give you the folder location right here on your Google Drive you can then change this if you wish 
and it will go sync everything in my drive or you can sync these folders only and choose whatever you want to do there and basically click start if you go back to uh, your Google Drive here you'll see an icon down here that's updating now and it's going to start getting everything synced here to your drive uh, Google Drive here you can also get access to Google Drive from here as well you can see quick access on there now down the bottom here you can see you've got some access here where you can add your settings preferences and all that sort of good stuff add a new account anyway that's going to be about it for this video that's basically how you can use google drive to back up all of your data to your google drive and you get 15 gigabytes for free from google which is very good of them to give you 15 gigabytes because most people don't have vast amounts of data and it's a really easy way to upload all your videos and also photos and stuff like that up to 15 gigabytes now of course if you want to get more space you can always use that uh, payment method and it's not a lot of money for 100 gigabytes if you want to upgrade but it will give you plenty of storage so anyway that's going to be about it for this video hope this one's been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall see you again for another video tomorrow bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos Thank <laughs> you.